Hey, Kat Sikora here of Coach Kat and Dr. Mimi. And today I want to share with you three strategies to how to get a great workout in, even with injuries or physical limitations, in a group fitness class. You may or may not know, but I actually struggle with some physical limitations myself. I have a chronic nerve condition in both of my feet, a bulging disc in my lower back. So I'm constantly having to tweak workouts to really work around these issues. Now, I was driving to CrossFit this morning and I was at a red light and I started thinking some really um, not productive thoughts. I started thinking, oh, I'm gonna be such an inconvenience to the, the coach. It's gonna take so much effort on his part to make accommodations for me. I'm gonna have to accommodate so much. Should I even go? People are going to start asking me questions and I'm gonna to have to talk about it, which sometimes makes me emotional. And then I was like, is it even worth it? Should I just go to the gym and skip CrossFit altogether? And with that last thought, I kicked those thoughts out the window. I said, kick rocks. I am just gonna go and I'm gonna do my best, my personal best in whatever way that means for me. So what did I do? I got there and I immediately talked to the coach. Frank was awesome and he said, you know, Kat, let's modify it. So we went through, there's a, wor a warm up. We went through each warm up movement and made substitutions. Then we went through each movement in the actual workout and made substitutions. We changed like 100% of the workout. And in my head, as we're going through it, I really, I did feel like a bother. I felt like I was in inconvenience. And I shared that with the coach and he said, you know what, Kat, I'm so glad you're bringing this up. It's your workout. I want to make sure that you get a great one. I'm going to do whatever it takes to help you not be in pain and get a great workout. And I was off my feet for most of the workout, which why right now I'm relatively in, um, you know, pretty well, semi-comfortable position standing, but it's because I modified so much in that workout. I advocated for myself and I was aware of my body and what I need and getting rid of that social pressure of just doing it even if it hurts. So maybe you have done a CrossFit class or maybe you have wanted to do a yoga class or some sort of boot camp class at your gym, but some physical limitation or injury has held you back from taking action on that. Or you talk yourself out of going because you don't want to be a bother and you don't want to stand out from the crowd doing something different. These three tips are for you. So number one, you have to self-advocate. You have to go and even if it's uncomfortable, talk to the coach and say, here's what's going on. Here's what I can't do. Here's what I can do. Can you help me find a solution? Most often they'll say yes and they'll help you find a solution. Number two is make sure that you're acknowledging that it's fear holding you back from that taking that action in the first place. Now you can be afraid, you can have fear and acknowledge that fear and do it anyway. All right, so just do it. And then number three is make sure you're doing it for you. Don't go into that gym and think, I have to compete with all these ladies. Go in there knowing my intention is getting a good workout. And that may look different from me to this other woman, from me to this other woman. It may look different and that's okay. I'm doing it for me, not for anyone else. So I'd like you to, I wanna hear from you. Comment below if you've experienced this, if you've felt fear around going to one of the group classes that you love because of an injury or a physical limitation and not wanting to be a burden. I want you to comment below. I'd love to hear from you. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to us on your subscribe to us on YouTube for more videos like this. Now go take action.